Hello and welcome to Neil's Spanish Flybox. I hope you're all well. A couple of clarifications today. Uh, I see that there is some clickbaiting going around about competition perdigons. Perdigons can go into any competition providing that they are within the rules and that is any perdigon. Also, as far as I'm aware, there is no perdigon that is specifically designed just for competitions. There may be individual tweaks to certain perdigons, but there, are nothing, there is nothing designed specifically for competitions. Secondly, I was chastised by a Spanish viewer who uh, chastised me for using the expression Coq de Lyon, saying that it was French and not Spanish, and in Spanish it is Gallo de Lyon. What I'm actually doing is translating from the word Gallo into cock, which is short for cockerel, and therefore calling it Coq de Lyon. Now, uh, it's possible, of course, to call it a rooster de Lyon, but uh, I don't think it flows quite the same. So I hope that clears up that it, the Coq de Lyon is C-O-C-K, short for cockerel. Thank you. Right, today's tying is an ostrich caddis nymph. Now this uh, fly is generic, it is not a specific, and I've been tying it for a few years now, and it's served well. So I'm going to share it with you. There are quite a few uh, materials involved, so I'll go through them as we go along. This is uh, black tying silk, or thread, and it is 8-0 which I'm going to put onto this curved bend hook and this is a size 16. And I started it um, behind the, the eye because there's quite a lot of bulk at the front of the fly and we need the space. I'm going to weight it with some uh, lead wire and this is 34 gauge. It's reasonably thin so I'm going to cut a piece off with this. Now if you're cutting lead, for goodness sake, don't use the best scissors, or wire or anything. Use uh, some old scissors to get cut through it. And I'm just going to wind this on, having put down that bed of thread. Yeah. And I'm going to put a little bit of super glue on there to uh, keep it in place. and tie it down. Oh, hopefully that should helicopter off. It's quite a hard wire this one, lead wire, and it's uh, sometimes difficult to manipulate in that fashion. As you can see, there, it's done it. So I'm just going to wind that down a little bit more and cover up that sharp piece at the end there. Right, and follow this thread down. Right, now the rib is going to be um, stripped peacock hurl. And these are some that I've stripped myself. And uh, they're not dyed at all, they're just plain peacock hurl. And although fibres are generally quite fragile, they're easy to break, when I do my own, I uh, let me just tie this in. When I do my own, when I finished doing the dyeing and stripping, I use some of my wife's hair conditioner to uh, make them soft and therefore less likely to break. Tie that on. Now, as suggested, the main uh, part of the body is ostrich hurl. Now, this is grey ostrich ostrich hurl, and I'm going to take off two hurls, and that's what we're going to wind on. Try and get them to the same length. up the ends and tie them in. 
but it doesn't matter if you have any ends over because that will be covered up in a minute anyway. And I'll show you how and why. So I'm just going to uh, build up the area behind this lead wire and try and give it a bit of uh, equality. it's wound up. Right, now I'm going to just slip a knot in there to stop it falling off, the thread that is. Right, and I'm going to wind on the ostrich hull. And the point of the ostrich hull is that it is supposed to represent breathers uh, of the, on the nymph. So just wind that up to the thorax area. I'll tie that off. And trim up those butts. All right, now I'm going to wind on this hurl as a rib. And we're going to brush out this hurl after we've finished winding this rib on. So let's not uh, worry about it just for the moment. Tie that off as well. And trim up. Tidy up this little bit of hole here. And trim up the whole area. And I'm just going to move the hook again in the vise. Make it easier to work. Right now, I'm just going to brush back this ostrich hull down the fly. At this stage, it all looks a bit uh, bulky at the back, but uh, it will all flatten down when it gets wet. Now for the thorax cover I'm going to use some cot pheasant tail. Uh, I'm going to cut off some fibres here. Probably going to need maybe 10 or 12 fibres. And this will serve as the thorax cover. Just tie that. Those butts. Tie them down. Right now, for the thorax, I'm going to use some spectra dubbing. This is uh, number 45 and it is a bronze peacock. Now, these fibers are quite long, so I'm just going to pull them apart a little bit to uh, make them a little bit shorter. I mean, you can always trim them up afterwards, of course. Wind this on, let's see how we get on. And fold over 
the thorax cover. Try and keep it as flat as possible. And trim it off. Tidy up. And tie off the fly. Dressing part. And we just brush this down, brush this back, and trim up underneath. Right now I'm going to uh, put some UV onto the thorax cover just to give it a bit of a shine and a bit of extra support. Give it a zap. And there we go. I'll just check the eye. It doesn't have any UV in it. Quick check. And there you have the ostrich caddis nymph. Uh, you can uh, obviously tie it in different sizes. Uh, this is a size 12. Um, you can do it also in a 14. This happens to be a 16. It matters not because it will work whichever size you use. I hope you enjoyed that. If you're not already a subscriber, uh, please push that button and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.